Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a 37 week pregnancy update. Now I know I usually kind of do these as a vlog style, but yesterday my appointment took forever and I just, I came home, ate lunch, and just did not feel like filming at all. So I thought I would wait until I'm actually 37 weeks, which I was only one day shy anyway, but I just thought I would give you guys a quick sit down video since I really don't do those too often. I thought I would just go ahead and throw this one up. I do want to say if you are new to my channel, my name is Amy. I would love to have you guys subscribe. I am a stay at home mom to two kids, Molly who is five and Lucas who is three. And I am currently 37 weeks pregnant with my daughter, Eleanor. If you guys are already subscribed to me, I would want to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me and enjoying these pregnancy vlogs. So yesterday was my 37 week pregnancy appointment. I was 36 and six days pregnant. The doctor at my 36 week pregnancy appointment noticed that I was measuring already 40 weeks. I have been right on track my whole pregnancy. I have gained weight, but not too much. The doctor put me on iron pills because he thought that my iron was low, which I expected because I had that with Molly. I passed my group B strep. I passed my one hour glucose test. So everything's been going really good with this pregnancy. I only had two ultrasounds because everything was going smooth. Nothing was wrong. She's been moving. I've been doing okay, I've been healthy, but when I had my 36 week appointment, the doctor didn't notice I was measuring large, like I said, I'll be measuring at 40 weeks. He wanted me to have an ultrasound to see if I, if I had a lot of fluid, because I did have a lot of fluid with Lucas, but I had high fluid with him early on. I can't remember exactly when. I wanna say maybe 17 to 20 weeks. I just can't remember. I just remember always having an ultrasound to make sure that my fluid wasn't getting too high. So I went in for my appointment and had an ultrasound. I had a lot of fluid. I asked him when my last ultrasound was, and I told her it was 20 weeks when we were going to find out the gender. And she didn't do it. The other, they only have two ultrasound technicians, so the other lady did it, which I love, love this lady. She would do anything for a good picture and to make sure the baby is doing okay. She is my favorite. I loved her with Molly and Lucas. But she said that since I was there, she was going to go ahead and find out the weight of Ellie and find out, just do a whole nother scan of the baby, not just check my fluid. She's like, oh, the doctor won't mind since it's been a while. We're just going to go ahead and do it. And I said, okay, that's fine. I wanted to know how much she weighed anyway. That way I could kind of get an estimate of how much she might be at birth so I can go ahead and buy some more clothes for her. She measured my fluid first and she did say that I am carrying a lot of fluid. Like she said, a lot that I am up to 28.1 centimeters and I asked her okay what's usually the normal average fluid in a normal pregnancy and she said usually she sees 10 to 14 centimeters as normal 24 centimeters you are diagnosed with poly something I'm not sure how to pronounce the name so if I remember I will leave in the name right here that way you guys will know what I'm talking about, but it's just some kind of thing that you get during pregnancy when you diagnose you having it, when your fluid gets too much, and 24 is when you get diagnosed, and I am already at a 28.1 centimeters at 36 and 6 days pregnant as of yesterday. I am now 37 weeks today. I did say my membranes can rupture at any time, and when it does, it's going to be a lot of water. So she did say, just go ahead and expect that. Now she, I was talking to her, and she told me that she had fluid with both her pregnancies and that her water did burst at home with Lucas. I do not remember much fluid I got with him, and I made it all the way up to 39 weeks and three days due to induction. I did get induced with him. I got induced with Molly too, and I, that's why I said I only have two weeks left because I do plan on getting induced for with Eleanor. I kind of hope my water does break on its own. I think it would kind of be fine but she did say if my water does break at any time now I am 37 weeks for their full term so the baby is safe to come at any time now so if my water was to break as I was sitting here it'd be okay they wouldn't try to stop my labor Eleanor would just come after she did my measurement of the fluids and wrote that down for the doctor get the baby's measurement and stuff Ellie is measuring right on time she looks a hundred percent healthy the lady said that her, you could see her hands, you could see her feet. It was so cute. And she did see that she had a hair. And that was one thing that I was so afraid Eleanor would come out bald because both my kids have had 
pair when they've been born. I thought, watch Ellie come out bald, which if she would have, that would have been fine. But I really love babies with hair. I should say it's not a lot, but it's very thick. Like she had some on top and then going down, you could already see the hair. Never ever saw this on my ultrasounds. I actually see Eleanor breathing practicing breathing and she's like that is a very very good sign just in case she was to be born right now she is already practicing breathing looked at her heart and her heartbeat was right on track i think it was 145 because i know after my ultrasound when i had my doctor's appointment and they used the doppler it was 156 her body looked okay stomach looked okay heart looked okay um they did check my placenta everything looked fine and they did weigh her and Ellie, as of right now, at 37 weeks, Eleanor weighs 6 pounds and 5 ounces. She said that this baby could end up smaller than the rest of my babies because Molly was 8'3", and Lucas was only 7 pounds, 13 ounces. So I'll, I'll be okay if it's 6 pounds. I think it'll take some getting used to because I've never had a baby that small. I forgot to add in that as soon as she put the ultrasound on me, you could tell that Eleanor was not a boy. <laughs> You can see all her lady parts. <laughs> so the overall, Eleanor looks really, really healthy. In one of the pictures that I have, you can see her face. It took forever to get a face picture of this child because she is so stubborn. Like Molly and Lucas loved when people would rub my belly in, they would move and stuff. Ellie does not care. You can sit here and go like this and she does not care. She does not move unless she wants to move. And as soon as the lady put the little ultrasound wand on my stomach, Ellie Eleanor turned over and hit her face. She is head down. I did go ahead and ask that. And she is in the birthing position. She is head down, so we are good to go. Sorry about that. Lucas was shaking my tripod and wanted a pudding. So I got him settled down, and he is watching Ryan Swervey right now. But as I was saying, Eleanor is head down, so she is good to go. And then I was telling you guys how as soon as she put the ultrasound wand on me, that she flipped over and she was sitting there like going like this with the wand on my belly not very hard at all but just trying to get because she wanted to see Eleanor's face and get a good picture of her face because my whole ultrasound the two ultrasounds I had was not very good pictures of her face and the lady was like I am determined to get this baby to roll over so she had me move my left leg up and then put it back down to see if that would get her to move it would not she had me roll to the right roll to the left that did not work Finally, after just in there, like moving the wand around, Eleanor did finally flip over so we could see her face. I did get a good picture of her face, and right there at her eye, I thought it was her hand going like this because it's really dark, but it was her cord. I did get nervous with her cord being that close to her face, but you, Lucas, I used to have all just home pictures of him literally trying to suck on his cord. Brought her foot up, so I did get a good picture of her foot. Everything is measuring okay perfectly. The only thing that was not measuring good is just the high fluid, but baby is 100% perfect and that she looked so cute. So after that, the ultrasound technician had me go to give a urine sample and then wait back in the waiting room to see my doctor because I did have a follow-up doctor appointment after that. Unfortunately, when I got back there, my doctor had, was in the middle of delivering a baby and then the nurse came in and said that he would had an emergency C-section after that and then after his C-section he was going to have to deliver another baby so they said that he wasn't coming back anytime soon which I mean he had a lot of babies to deliver even the ultrasound technician said that she was booked up the whole day that it was going to be a busy day so uh, they asked me if I was comfortable having my nurse check me said, yeah that's fine I don't care it doesn't after you have two kids you really don't care I come in and she was so sweet and so nice she measured my belly and she was like um did you measure bigger last time I said yeah he already told me she's like okay good I was like am I bigger and then at 37 weeks I am measuring 41 weeks pregnant so my fluid is getting a little bit higher and then she did go ahead and check me and she said that I am not dilated at all which is so weird because I think around 37 or 38 weeks with Molly, I think I was already at 2. And I know I stayed at 2 until I got induced at the hospital. And then I progressed. And with Lucas, I was a half a centimeter dilated or already up to a 1 around 37 and th or 38 weeks. I can't remember because like I said, I always get induced around 39 weeks pregnant. 
Um, I have noticed this one pain, my new pregnancy symptom is my new, this new pain that when I walk, sometimes it's so unbearable when I walk, I literally feel like someone is pinching me down there or stabbing me, and I just thought maybe it was just pressure from the baby's head, and I asked her, and she asked me if I felt like someone was literally like stabbing you with a knife in your, and I said, yes, it really does, She's, I, and she said that she had it, she said that there was one time she got it for the first time, and it literally dropped her to her knees, she said it was just something with the, Pelvis bone, pelvis bone rotating in the baby's head, which that kind of, that makes sense to me. She is already head down, putting pressure down there. So I'm gonna feel pain when I walk, especially on top of my fluid. So I did ask, I've been saying that I've had a pain right in here. This side does not hurt as much compared to this side. And I've noticed that I'm really, sometimes you can see Ellie's body right in here and they did say that Ellie's butt is right there and her, her little feet are scrunched up right there so that is probably put what's causing the pain like even if you rub right here if you rub this side you just feel nothing if you rub this side you can kind of feel like a divot from where her feet and butt are. My 35 or 36 week pregnancy update that I did on here my doctor acted like he was going to tell me my induction date well then at 30 my 36 week appointment that's when he said that he wanted an ultrasound and make sure the fluid was okay so i did ask the nurse yesterday if i was going to find out when i was getting induced soon and she did look at my chart and she said next week i will sit down and talk with him so i have a doctor's appointment tuesday at nine o'clock and then that is when i am going to find out and he is going to induce me so at that appointment I'll be 37 weeks and 6 days, so almost 38, so at that appointment, that means I'll only have one week until Ellie gets here. We are so excited. We did finish baby shopping. I had to order two things offline because Ellie's, I did have some bottles that were given to me by Dio's sister, and I need to change the nipples because they are in stage 2 and I need stage 1, and then we did go ahead and buy her some more bottles, which they are stage 1, so we did have to buy nipples. Yeah. Okay. Amazon did have a pack of six for only ten dollars, so we just went ahead and did that because it was we couldn't find that deal anywhere else. And also, Walmart did not have any pink bassinet sheets at all. All they have is gray, and I really didn't want the gray ones, so we did come home and order those. I think they're actually going to be delivered today. So as soon as I get those, do expect me to do a baby haul. I need to do a baby haul of everything that we bought. And then I also have a vlog to upload from you guys, for you guys of us actually out shopping. Also, I'm going to be doing a what's in my spill bag as soon as I buy everything that I need. That is really everything that happened at the doctor's. I will, like I said, I will find out more Tuesday when I go. And then Wednesday I will be th officially 38 weeks pregnant. From symptoms, like I said, the only thing I've been experiencing is that stabbing pain down there and then still the pain up here, which is Ellie's butt, so I can't do much about that. I haven't been sleeping very good. I do wake up, my legs are cramping, my calves are cramping, my feet are sore, but it's totally normal being nine months pregnant, so that's it for my symptoms. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my 37-week belly. Here's with the shirt down from the side front and then here's the shirt up and don't mind my pants I'm just in comfy pajama shorts because it's hot out so I'm gonna go ahead and end this update then we'll talk to you guys in my next 38 week pregnancy appointment like I said I would if you're new to my channel I would love to have you subscribe so thank you for everyone that watches supports and comments I love reading you guys comments they're so nice is it so I will see you guys in my next video bye